Hey guys, it's Mike Chen, day two here in Seoul, South Korea. One thing I love, absolutely adore about South Korea is the bakery. If you love bakeries like Paris Baguette, you gotta explore the bakery scene here in Seoul. It is just off the hook. Also, I just wanna clarify, I'm not from Vancouver, I'm not Canadian. I'm not wearing this because I expect people to treat uh, Canadians better than Americans. I just really like Vancouver. My first stop is at the Bakery Bangu, and they're known for their honey baguette and a bunch of other stuff. I cannot wait. Breakfast is gonna be awesome. What we should be getting here is the honey baguette. See, this is best. That's, that's the best. There's a red bean butter sandwich. Ooh, number two, the best. And finally, the milk cream bread. So this is the drug bread right here. Last time I had something that was drug related in Korea, it was the drug gimbap. But of course, there's no drug inside the bread. It's just that it's so addictive. First off, the honey baguette. These are just this tiny little baguette. And you can see the honey inside. It just tastes like a really well-made baguette with honey. Mm. This is something really special. This, this is basically a butter sandwich. Just a slab of butter with red bean. Oh, it is so crispy on the outside. This is one of the best bakery items I've had anywhere in the world. This next item here is like completely opposite of the one I had before. Look at, look how pillowy this is. This is definitely one of the creamiest scones I've ever had. The drug bun. It, it's just, the inside, it's really, really interesting. It's creamy because obviously it's got cream inside. And that's kind of accented by the sweetness and crunchiness of the of the sweet corn too. But just personally, I still think the title of drug bun should be onto that butter sandwich bun thing I just had a little bit earlier. Man, this is good. That butter one still rings supreme for me. Wow, this is kind of crazy. This this is a squid ink bun with the same cream on the inside with the corn. This is nice, nice. A little bit of cream cheese, the corn, bacon, and onions play really well together. Yeah, I think I like this version, the savory version, more than the sweet version. This is a Hangwoo croquette. This thing's got Hangwoo, which is Korean beef on the inside. This thing is nice and beefy. I'm like really, really aching to dip this in some hot oil and some vinegar right now. This thing I got because they said it was foreigner's favorite. I don't know what that means. This is like rice cake and cream cheese bun. Wow, that's very mochi-esque. So it's like a rice cake a mochi thing on the inside with what looks like a um, red bean. It's, stick, it's stuck to the top of my mouth right now. It is so funny. I've never seen like a stretchy bun before. All right, this next bakery, what I'm getting, is a really traditional bread called mammoth bread. It's called that because it's a massive bread. This is a traditional bread that's becoming more and more trendy lately in Korea. So this bakery I'm at, Jean Bolagieri, they only make 30 a day. So everybody here is lining up, <laughs> lining up for the bread. I'm number 16 in line, so uh, as long as everybody in front of me doesn't get two each, that I think I can get one. So we'll see. Got my bread. It's better be good. I waited in line for like an hour. Just got the mammoth bread. I gotta tell you guys about this, but first, um, let me get some other breads from around here. This is insane. Whatever this is, getting one of those. Green tea bagel with a uh, green tea cream cheese inside. It looks like Bowser. It's like some kind of blueberry cream cheese thing.
let's start eating. So the bakery I went to, the little tiny one, they don't use any eggs in their baked goods. And this is their most popular bun. It's like a little matcha volcano. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Oh. It's, it's a ton. It's erupting matcha. This bun is erupting matcha. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, and it's sucking it back in. <laughs> erupting matcha, sucking it back in. Besides the matcha, there's red bean inside of this as well. The bun is almost like a pita. So it's got nice, some nice chew to it. This thing is so messy. There's just tons, tons of matcha in here. So if you want a chewy bun with just this crazy massive matcha explosion, that's what you get. This is one of the craziest things I've seen in a bakery. And this thing is, it's heavy. This is like the dessert version of a gold nugget. And honestly, I think I'd rather have this. A bunch of really, really soft brownies stuck together. I'm fairly sure if you eat this whole ball, your body will collapse right away. A green tea bagel, matcha cream cheese. And as an Asian living in New York, th th this is my bagel dream come true right now. And this bagel is made fairly well. It's chewy, um, although I like my bagel a little, a little crunchy on the outside, a little nice and toasted. It's not very heavy. If you love bagels and you love matcha as much as I do, you need to try this when you come here. This is the original cream cheese bun. This thing almost tastes a little yogurty. I really like it though. The cream cheese is nice and airy. It, it, it does have more of a yogurt flavor than the cream cheese I'm used to, but it fits very well with the soft texture of this bun. I actually really like the oh, chocolate chips on top. This is just a slight crispy texture. And it just makes everything just that much bit sweeter. I saw this and I had to get it. This is like anything that's that's butter right now. Like, okay, there's about a stick of butter on this little pretzel, uh, pretzel sub right here. And on the other side of the butter, look at this, is just melty chocolate. It looks so, so intensely decadent. I'm pretty sure if you eat two of these in the same day, you will immediately just drop dead. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's gonna happen, but what a way to go. You can't go wrong with any one of these from any bakery. This is the most intimidatingly delicious looking croissant I might have ever seen. Like, it's, it's a massive croissant covered in chocolate. And besides being intimidating, it is stunningly beautiful. so amazing. I thought this might have been a little overhyped because yeah, it's a chocolate covered croissant. It's humongous, it's crispy, it's flaky, it's buttery, and it's chocolatey. They made a really amazing croissant and they covered it with chocolate. Bravo. The next one I'm really excited about. This thing looks like the bread version of Bowser. I mean, this is nutty. It's so incredibly decadent that the blueberry, although it's like, I mean, that's really sweet on its own, but that's kind of acting as like the life preserver for me. So I'm not like directly falling into an all sugar coma. I've never been into a bread monster before. It was really unique. With the two types of beans, and of course with the street cream and the crunch from the water chestnut. It's definitely a very original um, recipe. Like I said, this is a tr really traditional bread that they make here. So I think a lot of people here, they eat this and they, they have this very nostalgic feeling when, they, when they're eating this mammoth bread. For me, this is really bold flavors. I mean, really sweet, really beamy. And the outside of the bread is really crumbly and crunchy as well. Just like the name of this bread, everything is very big and bold. And I think for me right now, like, I'm glad this is my last bite of, of bakery item today. But overall today, a lot of fun exploring different bakeries around Korea. And I really 
just scratched the surface. I went to about four bakeries. There are like dozens of different types of bakeries in, in Korea serving all sorts of baked items from savory to sweet. So I think I'm gonna stop here today. But for everything I had today, 100% the crispy butter bun sandwich from the first bakery I went to, just, my gosh, like if you could have one bakery item in South Korea, that would be it. That and that soft, mm, fresh milk bun as well. I mean, get, get those two. And also guys, if you've never been to bakeries in, in South Korea and, and you love places like Tuleju or uh, Paris Baguette, you can have your mind blown when you go to bakeries here. I mean, you can actually go to these places for your entire meal. Feel the need for some vegetables, you know, get a bun with some corn inside. Let me know if you like this video. I'll go explore some more bakeries for you guys. I'll see you later.